Hello and welcome to a tutorial about the newest RollWoodskip methods. Uh, RollWoodskip is now possible with and without fall control, so I'm gonna dem demonstrate both methods. The basic premise is you want to land a plunge attack on either this edge of the elevator or this edge of the elevator. And there's two ways to do it, and I'll show you both of them. So the first method is probably both easier and faster, and you want to just simply walk up these stairs like this. You want to turn around and wait for the turnaround animation to be finished, and then you just backstab an R1 attack midair. And that gives you the correct animation. If for some reason you do not fancy this first method, there's another way to do it. You want to run up this corner of the stairs and then walk off at an angle slightly like this. So the way you do it without fall control is you equip your DT or BKGS and two-hand it. You want to make sure the weapon is not move swapped, otherwise the skip will not work. And then you want to plunge the edge as I have shown you before, and that will allow you to roll midair and iframe the fall damage uh, from the fall itself. You want to delay the roll as much as possible, otherwise the frame, uh, the iframes are going to run out and you're going to still take the fall damage. Now, if you roll too late, obviously you're going to hit the ground, so it's going to look roughly like this. Technically, this skip will work even with a fist, but the problem with that is that the plunge animation is a lot shorter, so the timing for the roll is a lot more precise. That's why you want to use a weapon like this. Now, with full control, this becomes even easier. You don't have to do a roll at all because fall control will neglect the fall damage altogether. So you just want to use one of your preferred setups. Make sure that fall control is casted and then don't touch your controller at all until you fall on the ground. The reason you don't want to touch your controller at all during the fall is because it will try to move mid-air and you will lose the animation that actually prevents the fall damage and it's gonna look kind of like this. So you don't want to do that. 